Hello, my name is Tanya Cloyd. I'm a fire protection engineer. I certify that I am an impartial third party engaged to validate the testing of three products that are marketed to contain the elements of lithium ion batteries in personal electronic devices in thermal runaway. The three products are Fire Containment Concepts Burn Bag, the Hot Stop L Burn Bag, and the Plain Guard Aluminum Case. The test is performed under actual live fire conditions. I have no connections to any of the manufacturers. I am only a, an observer. The test will be performed using a laptop computer with lithium ion batteries artificially set into thermal runaway. This is done by the introduction of heat via a cartridge heater. This is a well accepted and routine means of introducing the heat necessary to initiate thermal runaway. The batteries are new and are in approximately 95% state of charge. There are no external conditions, temperature, heat, humidity, etc., that can unduly influence the test. For safety reasons, the laptop is already placed inside the burn bags. This is so that no one was exposed to the extreme danger of having to pick up a burning device by hand to place it in the bag. This is consistent with FAA guidance SAFO 09013 to avoid the risk of serious injury. For added protection and safety, the burn bag is inside a plexiglass enclosure. All steps to deploy the burn bags were followed per the manufacturer's instructions. The pressurized can has been armed for that particular bag. The plain guard case does not require the firefighter to have actual contact with the burning device. First, we're gonna test the plain guard aluminum case. The next test we're going to do today is the Fire Containment Concepts Burn Bag. Next, we're going to test the Hot Stop L burn bag today. As you can see from these tests today, the Fire Containment Concepts burn bag does not completely contain the release of flammable, poisonous organic vapor or the cyanide gas and carbon monoxide containing smoke. The Hot Stop L burn bag design also does not contain the release of these same hazardous elements. It should be noted again that in actual use, the firefighter would be expected to pick up the burning device by hand with this device. As a trained fire protection engineer, I do not recommend putting the firefighter in that dangerous position. The testing further shows that plain guard case completely contained all elements of the thermal runaway event. Thank you.